Hey there, Stephanie C. Harper, publisher of Career Magazine. And today is Thursday. Well, that means it's Authorpreneur Thursday. So I am specifically speaking with my authors today. I want to talk to you um, a little bit about my post that went out uh, via the social networks today. Told you guys that a video would follow. And so, ta-da, here is your video. Well, I put out two, two tips actually today. Um, one, I talked about um, running a business and how you have to understand the components of business, product, packaging, distribution, um, marketing, and advertising. And I ended that career tip by saying, um, if you're not ready to run a business, then you're not ready to write a book. I posted another tip. Um, I'm trying to do this by memory. Um, but the... The tip said something along the lines that uh, just because you're self-publishing, it doesn't mean that you should do everything yourself. And so I wanted to just kind of follow up with a video to kind of explain myself. Um, what I really want to say to my authors is don't send me to Amazon, okay? Now, when this video is over, you'll understand why I'm saying that to you. There is a song that came out a thousand eons ago, and it said, God bless the child that has its own, okay? Here are the things that happened to me this week in publishing. Well, I went to support um, uh, someone by purchasing their book, and I went to their Facebook page, clicked on their info tab, and did not see a website. So I emailed them and said, hey, you know, I wanted to support your project but I don't see a website. What is your website? Where can I purchase your book? They responded back and said, Amazon.com. Okay, don't send me to Amazon. I just asked you for your website and you sent me to Amazon. Put a pin there because I'm coming back. Scenario number two, wonderful book cover, wonderful postcard, front of the postcard, totally different author, by the way. Um, Front of the postcard has Amazon.com. Back of the postcard has Gmail. Okay, here's the deal. If you call Pepsi, if you call Coca-Cola, if you call Victoria's Secret, if you call Hewlett Packard, if you call IBM and you ask them for their website, hey, call Career Magazine and ask for the website. I bet you five million dollars they will not send you to anyone else's website they're not going to do that now stop all that stop 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 i can hear you i can hear you saying you know what but when i post on amazon amazon does this for me and amazon does that for me kill the noise let's talk today okay Yes, I get that there are perks and benefits to advertising and posting your books out on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. You guys, don't forget, I'm the author of nine books. Been there, done that. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. What I'm saying to you is not, I'm not telling you not to use Amazon. What I am saying to you is you need to still have your own, okay? I can't stress to you guys enough that books are a business. When you write a book, you're taking on a business venture. And you must treat this like a business. You need to have your own domain. If you go out to GoDaddy one-on-one -on -one, or any of these places, you can get your own domain for about $10, $12 a year. Not very expensive. You can get a one-page website built for about $200. Not very expensive. If you're just doing um, your first project, your first book, you don't have to have the bells and whistles, the flash, that you don't have to have all of that. You can just have a simple website. Um, if you want to see an example of a simple website, go out to booksarebusiness.com, whyshouldihireyou.com. I'm not telling you that because I want to push my product. I'm telling you that because it's an example of just a simple one-page website. It has the necessary things for you to sell your product. It has a book. It has a table of contents. It has a place where you can contact and connect with the author. And, of course, it has a place that you can purchase it. 
let's talk let's talk let's talk okay so you're selling this book on Amazon for 99 cents when you can sell that same book on your website for 15 you're selling this book on amazon.com and you're getting a portion of the sale when you can sell the same book from your website and get 100% of the sale so you guys see where I'm going with this books are a business you should be in business to prosper okay I just want you guys to look at this from another perspective. I talk to um, authors and aspiring authors every single day, every single day. And I keep telling you guys, you have to look at this like a business. The same way that you look at books is the same way Pepsi looks at a can of Pepsi. What does the marketing say? What does the product say? How is the product moving? How do I move this product? How do I sell this product? How do I promote this product? Oh, and let me talk to you about websites. I know somebody is saying I'm using Wix, I'm using Weebly, I'm using Wobbly, whatever, okay? Wix is not advertising for you, so stop advertising for Wix. Someone said to me one time when we were having this conversation in one of my writer groups that, you know, if Wix will give me a free website, I don't mind advertising for them. Well, you should, okay? If Wix is not cross-promoting your information on their website, then you should not be cross-promoting on your marketing stuff. What am I saying? If you're printing out a business card or a postcard and it says Wix.com forward slash then your information, well, guess what? All that money that you just spent to market your product and your book, you've just marketed for Wix. Wix did not do that for you. Wix will not do that for you. You can definitely um, use Wix. You can definitely use their templates. But go ahead and pay the little $12.95 a month or what, $108 a year, whatever it is, to have your own domain. You guys, branding is serious. It's important. It's a crucial part of business. I put this shirt on just for this video. I have given you guys seven minutes of Career Magazine, okay? You guys, it's crucial. It's crucial to your business. And if you're going to submit to the World Wide Web, you might as well submit your own stuff. So I'm telling you guys this because I love you. I want to see you prosper. I don't want to see you guys have to go back and redo all this stuff again. I know a lot of times that we want that instant gratification and we want to see our name and lights. We want to see our books and our products out there. But just stop, step back, and make sure that you're doing it right the first time. I could tell you guys some horror stories about things that I've experienced um, publishing I will one day. One day I will, but not today. Um, but I can tell you guys, when I wrote my first book, I didn't get my master file. Didn't get my master files. The young lady who um, put the book together for me, her computer crashed. I paid her, but guess what? I had to turn around and pay somebody else to recreate the entire book. So these are just some things that you guys must take into consideration. Remember, if you're not ready to run a business, then maybe you're not ready to write that book. I'm Stephanie C. Harper with Career Magazine. I hope that these are tips and tidbits, tips and tidbits that will help you along your publishing and your business venture. Remember, books are really a business. You've got to treat this thing like a business and not like a book, all right? Well, I'm Stephanie C. Harper. If you're not getting your daily tips, go ahead and sign up, facebook.com forward slash the career mag. Or just go out to The Career Magazine. Duh! It's thecareermag.com. That's where you can get your daily tips. Right there. Thecareermag.com. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye now.